Good evening friends, today I'm going to show you how to use the scene manager provided by Unity and also hook up a loading screen with a progress bar. So first thing we're going to need to do is create a new script and Unity already has a class called scene manager which I ideally would have liked to call this class but instead I'm going to call it level manager just to avoid conflicts. Open that up. Let's make a public static level manager and we'll call that instance. And now in our awake function, we will say if instance equals null, well, we will make this instance equals this. And then we will say don't destroy on load and we'll send in the game object. So basically what that means is if the scene that we're currently in gets destroyed, on the next scene, it will still be there. It won't be destroyed in between the scenes. And if it is in fact already been uh, declared and assigned to, we will just destroy this version of the object. Just like that. Next, we'll create a new function and we'll call this, actually it will be an async function and we'll call this load scene. And this will take in a scene name as a parameter. Now we need to start loading our scene. So we'll call this scene equals uh, scene manager dot load scene async. And we'll send in the scene name there. Next we'll be preventing the scene from activating automatically. So uh, we're not going to allow it to straight away transition to the new, new scene as soon as it's loaded. All right, next we're going to grab a few references. So this first one will be a game object and it will be my actual loader canvas object, which will be uh, the actual main object here, which I will enable and disable. And the second one will be this foreground sprite here, which by the way, is just a normal image. The image type is set to field, horizontal, starting from left to right. And as you can see there, that's that's the uh, property that we'll be setting. So back here, another one, private image. And this will be my progress bar. Now down here in our load scene function, first set our loader canvas uh, set active, true. So we'll be showing our loader. And now we need to periodically check to see how much the scene is loaded and ultimately change that uh, image fill amount to reflect how much has actually been loaded. So I'll do that in a do while loop. Uh, if you don't know what a do while loop is, it's the same as a while loop. The only difference is that the logic inside will run at least once. And then once it gets down to this uh, while condition here, it will just act like a normal while loop after that. So our loop condition that we're going to be watching for is just scene progress is less than 0 0.9. So don't ask me why Unity does this, but basically the scene is loaded at 90%, not 100. Go figure, who knows? Uh, but make sure you're doing it to 0.9 and not 1 or else your scene will load forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, so now, uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm assuming these scenes are going to load instantly, which won't be very fun and you won't see anything. So I'm just going to add an artificial wait time here. Make sure you don't add this line when you're creating your loader. And now I'm going to set the progress bar fill amount equals to the scene dot progress. Okay. So I'm looping here uh, every 0.1 seconds. I'm going to update our progress fill amounts. And once it's completely loaded, we're going to continue here. And then all you need to do to activate your scene again is you need to take this and you need to change it to true. As soon as you tell Unity that the scene can activate, they'll activate it and you will be taken to the next scene. Next, we will disable our loading canvas now that the new scene has loaded because you have to remember that this is a singleton. So when the new scene loads, this object will, the very same object will still be present in the new scene. 
and it will have the loaded canvas showing. So we have to disable that. Next, we actually need a way to trigger this function to load to the next scene. So back in Unity, uh, you'll see I've got these two buttons here, go to scene two, and then in the next scene, I've got go to scene one. And on my buttons, I've just got a script here called change scene button. And then in the button on click event, oh, my face is in the way. Let me just move over here. In the button uh, click event, I've got, I'm referencing this change scene button and sending in the scene that I'd like to go to. And I'll just show you what that script actually looks like. It's literally just a function with a scene name parameter. So in this, I'm going to say level manager instance, uh, singleton instance, and I'll say load scene and send in a scene name. And that should actually be all we need to change these scenes here. Ah, uh, no, actually forgot something. So on the level manager, let's actually attach our level manager script and I'll send in my actual loading canvas object and then our foreground of our progress bar. All right, now that's done, we should be able to try this out. So go to scene two, yep. Working as expected, go back to scene one, back to scene two, there we go. So. Uh, this is not too exciting and obviously it's uh, it completely fills up to 90% doesn't look too good uh, If you'd like to show more of a progression what we can do is we can Instead of setting our fill amount directly to the scene progress we can do it over time So let's create a reference a float and it will be our target Now instead of setting the fill amount directly we'll set our target to that instead and then in a update function, we'll say our fill amount equals to math F, move towards, we'll send in our current uh, fill amount. We'll say our target, which we're trying to get to, and I don't know, three times time dot delta time. Uh, and now also as this, as we reusing this scene manager in between the scenes, uh, every time that we show it, we would like to reset our uh, fill bar, wouldn't we? Or else it's just going to always start at 100%. There we go. Progress bar dot fill amount uh, equals zero. And we'll also set our target back to zero as well. Just like that. Let's try it out. Yeah, there we go. That looks more authentic. So yeah, obviously you could improve on this quite a lot. You could, for example, add a fade in and out to the screen here uh, to make it less jarring. You could add some tips below the loading message or, or whatever. You could add, um, you could create a level select screen where you would have a layout group here with your 50 levels here or what have you. Um, if you don't know what a, what a layout group is, I'll, I'll put a annotation up here to a video on it. Uh, and then each one of those levels would have a the the change level change scene scripts with just a different parameter in it and you would you would just click on it or change the level so if you learned something leave a leave a like subscribe and i'll see you next time for another uh, sexy tutorial have a good day